Hi everybody, this is Mark Rivera of Genre Online Net, and this is a book review of Clint Eastwood, the iconic filmmaker and his work, unofficial and unauthorized by Ian Nathan. This is a beautiful hardcover book that's available now at booksellers on and offline. And it comes in a really high quality case of its own. Very beautiful. I'm just going to show you the back of the book. You could freeze frame so you could read what it says. And there's the ISBN number for those of you who want to scan it and look it up in the bookstore. And here is the spine. So let's open this book and talk about it. This is the book outside of the case that I showed you in the beginning. And you can see that it's once again, really high quality, both on the inside and the outside. And it's published by White Lion Publishing. And it's a beautiful book. And so what I'm doing is, is that this is kind of a visual look at the book. Okay, it's not really a review so much as it's a sampling of what is inside the book. Okay. And at the same time, there will be a written review of the book that will be linked to this description. And you will be able to read the written review as a, and then you also have this video and collectively that equals the book review in total. This is the contents. I'm going to just come in close so that you can see what it has. It covers his entire career from the early days of his career as an actor and then as he goes through with Dirty Harry and the later Westerns and as well as some of the other franchises that he made outside of the Man With No Name trilogy and some of the more famous films too including Firefox, Bird, The Rookie, Clint Eastwood's Entry into Politics, Unforgiven, his work in the 90s like A Perfect World, Absolute Power, True Crime, Mystic River, his second Academy Award winning Best Picture, Million Dollar Baby, and his later films, all the way up to and including the 2021 film, Cry Macho. It's a wonderfully indexed and sourced book so let's take a look at it together, shall we? So I'm not going to go through every single page in the book, mostly because if I did that, then you may not have a reason to buy it. And the whole point of a book review and a preview of what it looks like on the inside is to give you a taste of what the book is about and to give you an opinion that's basically objective so that you can then decide for yourself, is this something I would want in my library? Now, there have been many Clint Eastwood books written in the past, and there'll probably be many more written in the future. But nevertheless, I don't think that one can ever really capture everything there is about Clint Eastwood, including 
the influences, obviously, of the Spaghetti Westerns or the Man With No Name trilogy, which drew direct inspiration from the Akira Kurosawa Samurai films. But nevertheless, Clint Eastwood rose from being a kind of silent man action hero of sorts to becoming not only a respected actor, but a respected director too. And this cannot be understated. It truly cannot be. He's not only done very well as a director, but he created iconic characters like Dirty Harry, which he has a five film, five film series. And while they're not connected to the original Dollars trilogy, he has made a ton of Westerns and arguably outside of John Wayne, I would say that Eastwood is the most iconic Western actor we have ever had so far in cinema. I'm jumping a little bit ahead now, just because again, I can't show you every little thing, but I can show you some of it. Mr. Eastwood has been in so many films, so many iconic films, that it's easy to forget because a lot of these films came out before I was born or when I was a little kid and I wasn't yet necessarily an Eastwood fan because I'd only seen some of his films as opposed to the amount of work he you know has done and like when you get older one can appreciate somebody else's work more and that was the case with me it wasn't until I got into my 20s that I really began to appreciate Clint Eastwood as a filmmaker and an actor. And, you know, around the 70s and the very early 80s, you had these kind of movies that, for lack of a better expression, they were like movies that had um, like basically Smokey and the Bandit type movies and movies that would finish that would feature uh, a living creature like an orangutan or if anyone saw BJ and the Bear on television you remember the chimpanzee that was part of that show and that became a popular franchise that spawned two other shows as well at any rate um, you know only Clint Eastwood could make a movie where you have a orangutan that punches people and it's a kind of a romantic comedy and it spawns a successful sequel too so you had any which way you can and every which way but loose and I remember watching those and laughing my ass off excuse my language when I was a child on HBO you know it's also interesting to note uh, about how much Eastwood has had an impact on genre films beyond the western and uh police drama and so forth i mean he's literally made movies in every type of genre uh, even science fiction i mean he's actually in one of the creature from a black lagoon films i think it might be either the second or the third one but he's got a small cameo in it you know when he was a young man and it is something that's worth noting. To this day, I would say that Clint Eastwood is an iconic filmmaker. And this book gives you a lot of information on him from an unauthorized source. But that's okay because sometimes, you know, the authorized source is not going to necessarily give you exactly what the point of view of the filmmaker is. There are stories that Clint Eastwood, I'm sure, could tell you if you were lucky enough to get an interview with him. And I'm sure you can get interviews with people involved with this production and actors who have worked with him, as well as his family, if you try hard enough. But sometimes 
It's the unauthorized interviews, the books that are written by people that may have not known him directly, but can give you a more objective point of view on the man that are also worth reading. And that's why this is a really great book, because you're getting another point of view on a filmmaker and an actor who's also an American icon. As I said before, not since John Wayne has there been an actor so iconic for both Westerns. He even made some war pictures, dramas of every type. And quite honestly, it's hard not to admire the man. He did some great films with Steven Spielberg producing like Flags of Our Fathers and its sequel about the war from the Japanese point of view in the East. Ultimately, we've been we've been blessed by the great great amount of work Clint Eastwood has given us. And whether you're a casual fan or a huge fan, as you can see, this is a very comprehensive book that I think is very much worth your time. So you can get this book now available at retailers on and offline and thank you for watching and please keep an eye out for the written review which will be linked in the description below once again this is mark rivera of genre online net with the video portion of my review of clint eastwood the iconic filmmaker and his work unofficial and unauthorized by ian nathan Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.